City authorities in Accra, for instance, appear helpless as the challenge still continue into 2020. The 2010 population census suggests that about 35.2% of the economically active population is unemployed. Street hawking appears a readily available option for the hundreds who flock the major cities and towns in hopes of earning an income. Traffic intersections are usually the hub. Siofilo Staba is a 25-year-old senior high school graduate from Adidome in the Vota region. Saba hopes to raise money to further his education and achieve his ambition of becoming a medical doctor. I'm a science student. And you had six? Six A's. And you've not been able to go to school? Yes. I job for security for almost one and a half year. After that, I was into construction. That's Pongpo. Yeah, still, I'm still searching for money to continue my education. And here I end up selling the streets again. He has been hawking for the past two years at Pong, in the Pong Katamanso municipality. His profit, however, is just 40 cities a day, trading in bread. For Tiofilo Saba, the municipal assembly ought to do more to help them off the street before the end of 2020. 2020, my accomplishment will be if I will be glad if I could continue my, my education. Tiofilo is not alone in the business of hawking. Street hawking is by no means an easy job. Over the years, city authorities have conducted exercises to rid the principal street of hawkers but it continues unabated. Solomon Tete is the municipal chief executive of Pong Katamanso, a new hub where street hawking is increasing by day. I am appealing to all the hawkers around the place that immediately after Christmas, January, when they see us removing the symbols and things, we don't want anybody to give us any resistance. We need to open up the country. We need to beautify our country. We need to make sure that traveling time becomes very, very low for the ECOWAS, uh, highway which passes through the Pumbaria all the way to Elubu. Until unemployment is reduced, street hawking would continue to persist even after 2020. Joseph Armstrong, TV3 News, Pong Katamanso.